Uh, good morning, uh, Uncle Lou here. Uh, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou, uh, live on Lootube, uh, for you people. Uh, with another earth-shattering edition here of the Uncle Lou Show. Uh, yep, thanks for watching. Uh, so, uh, yep, uh, Uncle Lou, uh, getting prepared here. Uh, to go under the knife. Uh, that's right, another surgery for Uncle Lou. Coming up in a couple of days here. Uh, next Tuesday, so next, uh, I don't know, five days. Uh, knee surgery this time. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this will be, uh, I don't know, um, four or five surgeries, I think. Uh, since my accident, uh, but hopefully this will be the last one on my left leg, uh, so at least I'll have one good leg, uh, after I recover from this last surgery here, uh, yeah, so, uh, they're gonna do a reconstruction, they've, they've tried fixing, uh, the knee, uh, before, um, a year and a half ago, or, or a little over a year ago, I guess, or no, I guess it was about a year and a half. I uh, tried fixing it. Didn't work. Uh, yep, so I'm going to redo it. Uh, rebuild me a mechanical knee. Uh, that's right. Like the bionic man over here. Uh, yep. But like I said, hopefully this will be the last one on my left leg. Um, still have a couple more to do on my right leg. Uh, not sure when that's going to happen. Uh, doctor's giving me a hard time. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, going in Tuesday, being there a couple of days, uh, so, we'll see how that goes, uh, if you're lucky, uh, I'll film an Uncle Lou show for you, uh, as soon as I wake up from the surgery, uh, which should be pretty entertaining, I don't know, uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm not looking forward to this knee surgery, if any of y'all have ever had knee surgery before, um, it, it's the most painful surgery I've ever had, uh, and like I said, I've had five or six different surgeries over the last couple of years, and nothing compares to the pain of the knee surgery that I had. Um, just miserable. Uh, the first surgery that I had on my knee, um, I was supposed to stay in the hospital for two nights after the surgery, but at that particular time, I, that was like my fourth surgery uh, in a three or four month period. And I just was tired of being in the hospital, so I basically signed myself out uh, after the first night instead of staying for the second night. Big mistake! Uh, yeah, they had me on a uh, nerve block, which I guess uh, is similar to an epidural that women get during pregnancy. But So basically when I woke up from the surgery, I couldn't feel my left leg at all. It was just, I, I mean, I couldn't move it, and I couldn't feel it, nothing. Uh, if I wanted to move my left leg, I had to use my hands to pick my leg up to move it uh, but the good thing was you can't feel anything so there was no pain uh, yep but uh, because I wanted to go home uh, they had to take me off that nerve block of course I uh, can't send you home with that so uh, yeah uh, by the time I got home uh, <laughs> I was wishing I would have stayed in the hospital it was miserable uh, it's the worst pain I've ever had, so I'm going to stay in the hospital this time as long as they tell me to, so I don't have to go through that again. Uh, it was just awful. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully this will be the last one on my left leg. Uh, I'll be, uh, an another thing that sucks, and if you've had this type of knee surgery, you probably gone through this too, but they put this brace on your leg, basically from your ankle to your thigh, uh, and it's... It's not a cast, it's a, it's a brace, and the brace does have a hinge on it, but they lock the hinge in place, so your leg is basically straight, you can't bend your leg at all, uh, and it has to stay like that for several weeks, uh, which is aggravating, uh, it's hard to sleep, uh, of course, I'll be on crutches, no weight bearing or anything for a while, but, uh, so yeah, six to eight weeks, no weight bearing, uh, and then some physical therapy after that. Uh, and then hopefully my left leg be like new. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no, but it, uh, oh, uh, yep. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. 
Uh, that's it. Uh, no radio show this week. I did talk to Ray, the guy that runs Two Loco Radio, uh, and he said start next week. So I'm sort of at his mercy. Uh, of course, can't do the show without him. He runs the show, so I did message him this week about doing the show, and he said we could start it next week. So, uh, and I think I think what we'll do for the first radio show is going to be uh, all about the weather. Uh, isn't that exciting? Uh, yep, uh, everyone's favorite subject, the weather. Uh, more specifically, we'll talk about uh, weather control uh, and who does it, weather control, weather manipulation. Uh, yeah, if you think weather is just random, uh, then you're sadly mistaken. It's not. Uh, weather control and weather manipulation is something that governments and the United States government in particular has been uh, you know, attempting to do for decades. Um, we'll get into depth in depth on this next uh next week with the radio show uh but uh yeah uh so harp if you don't know what that is you can look that up uh, uh harp uh of course chemtrails uh a big deal uh yeah uh using weather as a weapon uh which is the goal uh of the united states uh, there with this weather manipulation uh, yeah, so anyway, that should start next week, Thursday, I guess, if I'm able to do it. If uh, if I'm home in time, my surgery is Tuesday. I'm, I'm hoping to be home by Thursday. Uh, we'll see. Of course, I could always do it from the hospital. It's no big deal. Uh, there's nothing I can't do, uh, and there's nothing I don't know, too, which is great. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, be sure and call in. Uh, talk to me about it. Uh, yep. But anyway, uh, until next time, good morning.